this is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Monday, May 23rd, 2022. And we're working on the chicken coop and it was 105 degrees the other day, trying to get shit done and then it poured and just always something, you know, typical bullshit. But we had uh, one of our air conditioners took a shit because our central air went last year, too expensive to fix. So we got window units. So instead of buying a new one, we go, well, my wife went on the yard sale sites and we ended up going for a ride and picking up two window units for the price of one from two ladies. I'm here at Batstow. Just put that out there. Um, these two ladies bought these air conditioners. Get home. One is cool, but not cold. The other one doesn't work at all. And we drove all the way out here, wasted all that gas to get these air conditioners. Could have bought a brand new one. So she texts the girls. And they was like, well, we don't know what to tell you. It worked when we sold it to you. So we're out that money. And, you know, you got to say something. They just block you. That's the way people are today. They just don't give a shit. They rip you off. And you're probably not going to hear me because this water... So we had to drive out to the middle of the Pine Barrens to meet these two women to get these air conditioners. And since, you know, we don't really go out that much because the price of gas, we were right around the corner from Crowley's Landing in Badstow. Now, maybe I'm full of shit. Maybe the people I'm watching are full of shit with the economics, the financial situation. Uh, people losing their jobs, people not having money. I'm going to put some clips in here. We went to Crowley's Landing and I saw a bunch of new cars, new boats. People, there was a Tesla pulling uh, a trailer with uh, a jet ski on it. Like they got money to burn. It, do you know what, how much fuel costs to put in a boat? When you go to a dock, it's more money than your regular gas station uh, I, I don't get it maybe it's just me maybe I'm just poor uh, maybe I just didn't make really good choices financial choices here's some baby geese but yeah so people shitload of people out in the oh well, not in the ocean out in the lake in the Mullica River Big pontoon boats. I must have passed 15 or 20 brand new pickup trucks pulling brand new campers. Everybody's going camping. Do they not see what's going on or am I just a crazy conspiracy theorist watching conspiracy shit on YouTube? Maybe I'm completely wrong. So don't listen to me. Evidently, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Am I just one of these poor people? Or are all these people just got a shitload of money? Or are they not prepared? Or do they not see what's coming? I don't know. Nobody knows what's going on, I guess. But we had to come out to get pig food and all that crap. Everything, you know, pig food just doubled. So we tried a different brand. And came out here to Batstow because it was on our way. Just took a little detour on the way home. And it's nice out here. We got a nature center and stuff out here. I'm surprised there's nobody out here. But I noticed <laughs> the other day I went to Packham Pond where I did the video the other day. Now, New Jersey, there is no more bags, no more plastic bags when you go shopping, and no more paper bags. So when you go shopping, you got to bring your own bags. And when you go camping or you come out here in a forest, this is nice here. I don't know if you can read that. When you come out here in the woods, they have, you carry it in, you carry it out. And they would have trash cans every now and then with big yellow trash bags. 
so if you're out here with a picnic or you're eating or if you're at a campsite they have trash cans where you can put stuff in it i went to packham pond the other day and it was i was going to make a video but there was just so many people there they were barbecuing and i went to walk down the nature trail and a bunch of kids throwing rocks and breaking branches but these people since in new jersey there's nowhere to sit up here i was going to sit out here since in new jersey they banned all the plastic bags the park areas took them down too so all these people are in this pavilion they're cooking they got macaroni salad egg salad hot dogs and i see them walk around with all these paper plates the park service took the thing down with all the bags and the trash cans are gone what well, now i laughed i don't know what these people are doing with the trash but when i was there a month ago making a video they had the bags and they had the trash cans but there was a, a guy who took like mcdonald's or starbucks coffee he's sitting there eating his mcdonald's breakfast i guess lunchtime and another woman came she's reading a book and had her little lunch both of them got up and walked away got in the car and left left all the trash water bottle mcdonald's bag french fries just sitting on, on right over there there was a trash can they had to pass it to go to their car it's nice out here i got some canoes back here i don't even see the canoes So yeah, now there's no more plastic bags. When you go shopping, you gotta bring all your stuff or bring a box or you can't you can't get plastic straws, you can't but everything because of COVID, everything's individually wrapped in plastic. You want a donut, hot dog, burrito, everything's wrapped in plastic. You speak cardboard. So just get rid of one thing of plastic and make twenty other things of plastic. So it makes no sense whatsoever here's yeah keep stopping and starting they're doing construction out here they're working on some of the uh, historic buildings and cars going by a bulldozer and figure you're not going to be able to hear me so then I got to keep starting over and I forget where I was at so yeah originally like years ago and even when I was a kid coming back here I always said if things ever went bad I would come here they got all the old buildings and they got uh, the sawmill they got a grist mill and... but I guess the last two years because of COVID everything's been shut down out here everything's overgrown I don't think the sawmill is run in two years. So, but they are doing construction on a couple of the outbuildings or the old houses and stuff like that. They just did some stuff on the mansion last year and the year before. And they used to have a post office over here that we used to go to all the time. It was one of the oldest post offices. It didn't have a zip code. It was just Batstow, New Jersey. And we used to come here all the time. My mom would send her sister a postcard from here. And I think the post post office has been closed for six or seven years. But there's nothing out here. It's gorgeous. I got the grist mill over here. But yeah, at one time I would say if shit hits the fan, this is the place I would come to. Probably not anymore because I don't think anything works. Plus I think everybody else in the world would be coming here like to live in a mansion now nice big mansion let me see got the mansion there the old post office and general store and they got the grist mill and stuff over there let's take a look see if the general stores I don't know if anything's open 
Yeah, we got taken on uh, two air conditioners. One blows eh, and the other one just blows hot air. But they said they worked when they gave them to us. So what are you going to do? I guess you can't buy shit on the yard sale sites anymore. No. General store is all closed up. Completely locked up. That's where they used to keep the horses and stuff over there. I'm trying to do a lot of walking, trying to keep in shape a little bit. I've been working on the, the chicken coop. Pulled everything out. It was supposed to be nice for two days. I got some stuff done and then my phone was going off. Some kind of a alert for a tornado warning. And we got the nastiest wind and rain. I tell you. And the next day I pulled everything out. And we had a heat index of I think 105, 106. What a pain in the ass. Ooh. I was up there one time. So, I pretty much walked pretty much all Batstow Village. The gift shop they opened up, but the bathrooms are closed. The other farce, they opened everything up. And this one, they opened everything up, but no bathrooms. So you just gotta go poo poo in the woods. So yeah, went out and see all these people, these brand new cars. I had somebody stop over my house the other day. It was in his 70s, I guess, mid 70s. And he's talking about how great things are. Now, okay, he's got money, okay? But he's talking about how great things are. If you want a job, now's the time to get a job because everybody's hiring. Now, they used to have a lot more stuff in here. I don't know where it all went. But. If you want a job, now's the time to get a job. Everybody's hiring, which is true, I think. I see everybody's hiring. But he uh, talks about the economy is getting better. Everything's doing great. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And then the same breath, he's talking about, he went to the store. He's like, if you go to grocery stores near me, he's like, it's better up your way. He's like, down where I'm at, down by the shore, all the stores are empty. All the shelves are empty. You can't find anything. Couldn't find milk or eggs for, I don't know, two or three weeks. All the canned food. He said, the stores are pretty much empty down the shore. And then he's saying how great things are. And he said he took a, a Tesla for a test drive. And a Chevy, Chevy something. And he likes that. I'm like, you're not really falling for that shit, are you? He's like, oh, I ordered mine. I can't wait for it to come in. So I don't know which one he ordered, but he's spending like sixty thousand dollars for an electric car. He's got a piece, uh, a cheap little get-around car, a little hoopty, and he paid I don't know how, two or three thousand dollars to have it repainted. And then he didn't like it, had it painted again. Now he lives down the shore. He's got bird shit all over it, seagull shit all over it. And he's like, oh, look at my car. I'm like, yeah, looks like crap. He's like, I just had to paint it twice. I'm like, but you don't cover it. It's got bird shit all over it. I guess that's always a couple thousand dollars to me. The paint job was worth more than the car. So maybe it's just me. Maybe more. there's more people out there that got a lot of money to spend. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a crazy conspiracy theorist. Maybe I don't have a clue what's going on and you shouldn't listen to me at all. Or maybe I'm right. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> you know, it's nice out here. It's like yesterday was 98 or something like that. I didn't get much done yesterday. We went to go for a little walk and just too hot. But we had to run out today. Had to get pig food trying a different brand had to go to a tractor supply and they didn't have what the hell we were looking for and pricing stuff for the chickens and chicken food and see the best way to go and we figured we'd stop here went to Crowley's Landing yesterday saw all those freaking boats and people out there with the 
wave runners and stuff. Kid with his brand new uh, Mustang. Still had dealer tags on it. What's a Mustang cost? The gas here, down here is four, four sixty, four seventy five, right down the street. Kid fueled up and comes out and then floored it. I'm like, well, that's ten dollars you just wasted. Uh, gas, I can't say anything. I did that too when I was young, but gas was eighty five cents a gallon. I don't know, people. Sometimes I think I'm smart, and sometimes I think I'm stupid as hell. Listen to all these people, and who's right, who's not? Should we be stocking up, or should we just be spending our money? Maybe I should have bought a used truck. Maybe I should have went and bought a brand new one for $65,000. Who knows? So, I'm leaving uh, Batstow now. I'm a little worn out, but it's not, at least it's not 100 freaking degrees like it was the other day. It's a shame the gift shop's open, but they got a museum and that's all closed. I want to show that to you, but it's not allowed in there. Oh, they do have porta pots. I'm here at Batstow. Historic Batstow Village, and people keep saying, "Be careful," because they saw me walking and like, "Oh, where are you going?" I tell them where I'm walking. Oh, watch out for bears. The bears are bad. I'm like, this is South Jersey. There's no bears in South Jersey. Been here my whole life and never seen one freaking bear. When I worked in Violin, people said there was bears on our property on the farm. Never saw it. Somebody took a picture with one of our tractors in the background. I think it was manipulated. In the news, bears in New Jersey. One attacked a woman. Uh, another one would climbed a pole by right in the middle of a town. And here I am. I don't know if you can see that. Bears are active in this area. Do not approach them. Are you serious? I've never seen bears out here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've never seen a bear in South Jersey. And uh, another thing was uh, finding Bigfoot or one of these shows. <laughs> you know, my wife works at the other forest area, and she said that uh, a couple people rented a campsite and wanted to know if there was any Bigfoot sightings, and here it was people from the TV show Finding Bigfoot or Discovering Bigfoot or one of them on Animal Planet or something. I don't know. Jersey Devil? Maybe. Bigfoot out here? I don't think so. I'd love to see that episode to see what the hell they find out here. What a bunch of crapola. So this is Pony Prepper Bill and let me know your thoughts on is everything going good? Is everything falling to shit? Some people say there's a recession coming. Some people say we're in a recession or going into a recession. Some people say that the recession is going to take two years or we're going to be in a recession for two years. Other people say it's going to be two years before it is. And I heard one person, or a couple of people say that we're in a recession now or on our way into it. And then we're going into a depression. It's inevitable. I don't know. I'm not a financial person. I have no clue about that stuff. So I got home. I was editing the video and the end got cut off. I don't know what happened. I was talking to my wife and we were talking about something and I continued and I guess I never hit the button again. That's the way shit always works with me. So this is Pony Prepper Bill and let me know in the comments below what you think. Are we headed for a recession? Are we in a recession? Um, are people just buying stuff because they're ranking up their credit and they're going to file bankruptcy? Or do these people just have a lot of money and I'm just poor and I'm a crazy conspiracy theorist? I don't know. Let me know uh, what you think and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.